Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Rules of Survival update. Haha, <laughs> here we are guys, back at it again with another update. You know, it's a weekly update and let's go ahead and check on what are the new things that's in the game. I'm trying to fix my uh, filter here. Anyways, um... But looking at all the patch notes here, guys, uh, we have a lot of things, a lot of contents, a lot of fixes. And just to summarize all of these, I'm just going to read a, a summarized version. So you have the new firearm healer. It can be used to uh, temporarily restore some of some HP of teammates or enemies that have been knock knocked down. Now, what's really weird is that it says enemy. So if you knock down an enemy and you... you shoot maybe you, you shoot the healer uh, weapon or firearm it revives them and it says temporarily so that means they can die again i don't know how that works guys so maybe we'll try that later on in the game uh maybe we'll we'll play one game or, or something like that um but i may need someone uh to be with me in that game so let's let's see if i can do that but uh we have the four-wheeled vehicles now have tires that burst so this is basically a, uh it's actually a fresh content guys to uh, rules of survival because right now any four-wheel vehicle like um i'm eating up my words any four-wheel vehicle or four-wheeled vehicles can now be like or the tires can now be like bursted so if you shoot the tires and it's gonna like slow down maybe the the twisting or the turning would like be screwed up as well if something like that they also have a new content set the target for 2019 uh set yourself a new target at the start of the new year let's check it out in game because that's kind of complicated i think we can look at it uh pretty much detailed in game um uh, boot camp has been rebooted so if any one of you don't have an idea about bootcamp that's what you click on the upper right or upper left side of the, uh, the screen let's check it out later as well added a new in battle hide looks function a hide looks option has been added to the in-game backpack looks list i'm not sure about that but uh this week's another one is this week's game mode is bonanza a large number of advanced items and rare weapons available in game hmm. i think that's with gold mode guys I think because every time there's an update they mention gold mode and there's like a, uh, uh, a game mode for gold mode every time so we have experience optimization uh, firearm modification m249 which is the machine gun from the crate drop machine gun damage has been slightly reduced so mm, that's okay uh, QBZ rifle damage has been slightly increased the number of QBZ rifles placed on the maps has been increased, so we can find more QBZ rifles. I think they're trying to like up the uh, the gameplay of this gun because it. I think it's underrated. Not really that much because mostly people use like M14 EBR, AN94, and uh, yeah, crossbow modification. This is what I like about this update, guys, because the great or the crossbows right now are pretty much improved in a way that you can actually use it. Um, the projectile speed is greatly increased when fired. So that means if you shoot uh, at an enemy, it the, the travel the, the travel time of the the what do you call that the arrow would be faster. So basically, uh, falling trajectory as well has been reduced. So the the arrow drop, let's call it the arrow drop, it's not it's not a bullet, um, would be like reduced. So that's basically increasing the accuracy you would have with crossbows, which is great. I think that's a great move for them or for NetEase. Uh, changing graphics and settings will also change shadow and resolution settings. So that's for people who have uh, a low end PC that would really help uh, much for them, which is good. Now, new resolution options have been added to settings. Okay, a new anti alias option has been added to settings in Android game versions. That's for mobile. Um, opening doors and PC versions has been improved. I hope it really does because there's this annoying bug that if you uh, open a door and loot, you know, items, you have to like control and then click and uh it's a really annoying bug i hope they they have fixed that ross ultra has been optimized i don't know who plays ross ultra guys because in my opinion um most of the players in ros really have like low end pc and if you play ross ultra you're gonna have you're gonna see like maybe out of 60 people like 20 people in game and 40 bots that's my opinion because i don't really you know uh play ross ultra that much but i hope they improve ross ultra more in a way that everybody's gonna play it 
And, uh, yep, light lighting has been added for the darkest parts of the night in games. That's for Ross Ultra. Uh, the refresh distance for finely detailed grass has been increased, which is great because rendering um, or render distance has always been problems, especially if you have like uh, low end PC. So, anyways, let's go ahead and check out on the update. I'm pretty much excited about what are the new scenes that they're gonna add up in the game, guys, because you know, um, we love skins. Let's go ahead and see. And there you go. Wow. That's a healer. Game changer. Instantly heals teammates. This is basically a good move for them. Uh, in my opinion. Because I think it... Ross needs something more of a... Um, what do you call that? A unique genre or something like that. A, a unique uh, thing for their game. And this is actually very unique. Healer. Because um, you can like shoot your, your down... Um, ally you can have like a fire team or a squad where one of you is like a healer support you know support role for the team right right that's a uh, very actually uh, unique what the nani chest of jaws definitely not for s i don't know what this is this might be a flower skin maybe Woo, wow parasitoid okay now this is my opinion, but I, I think you guys have noticed this as well. Um, before they release like a predator-ish type of skin, I know they release like an alien skin. So I don't I don't know, guys. Cause the game is called what the heck? Oh my! Ah, oh, that's pretty loud. Wow. Oh my god, guys! I have 700 advanced tickets and I can like spend a lot of it here. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's something new. Um, this is the same, the Lady Lavender, the last time I talked about it. And what the nani? What? What? Bones. Ooh. That's a pretty nice uh, looking skin. So you have like four legendaries. This is the the chest of jaws. This one looks like the the one in the training manual. The 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 mask looks pretty. F I don't know. Eh? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yep. Uh, that's okay. So before we go on to the to the getting of skins or to the to draw, uh, the the alien skin. All right. Um, we're gonna have to look at bootcamp. Now, this is what what bootcamp is. You click on that one right on top, upper left, and then you click on claimable. There's also an upgrade preview. What the heck is this? How do you upgrade? Oh, you need 100. Okay, so you claim after upgrade. Okay, so this is what you get. I'm gonna get this after I top up. Not now though, but I'm just I'm just gonna show you guys. What you can get, okay? So that's step one. Mission is locked. Check again tomorrow, okay? Alright. Gorge. Can I claim it? Why is it highlighted? Okay. Uh, no. Uh, okay. There you go. So you can. What? Okay, maybe it's highlighted manually. Uh, just for uh, by default. So. I can claim this, I can claim that, and also this. Wow, amazing. So basically, you can get all of these guys. What the nani? So you can like um, click that, and then there's like a lot of it. Like step seven. Bootcamp was um, released before with a uh, orange parachute. So that's basically bootcamp, guys. You have to complete missions in order for you to get all of the things that's in there. And this one is a new thing about New Year that they have like the New Year thing. So if you want to look more into detail, um, you click on this question mark. It's like empty. Okay. So you click on that question mark. Click. You click on that question mark. There's New Year, New Year Us. Um, the bounty game mode is available. Okay. You can choose to accept one of ten tasks. Oh, my weekly task. Char lang. PBB. Complete task to claim uh, huge amounts of rewards. Okay. By huge, I don't know how huge that is. But tap plus to check task goals. Choose a, a suitable task and pay the corresponding challenge fee to start the task. 
apart from the system default pot, every participant's challenge fee will be. When the challenges have ended, players that complete the challenge will equally divide the challenges, the challenge fees in the pot. Okay, so basically, there are tasks, and then you you it's kind of like you bet something or you put something like a a, a pot or gold or a fee rather. And then if you complete the task, you will divide it to to everyone who who did participate. Okay, players uh, can claim rewards such as looks, etc. Uh, when special challenges are completed, players that complete all the challenges can all play. What's the task? Okay, uh, team task, somebody task. Or allow players to team up and complete together. You and your teammates will share task progress when your team up, when you team up. In the end, pairs of players can complete bounty tasks together. When you have chosen bounty task, you can invite your friend and share task progress on the chat. Okay, so that's okay. I need to really know. Okay, so this is what it is, guys. Um, so you have complete special training mission forty-five times. What? Try this task. You'll need to pay 10 advance tickets. Full amount will be returned to you after the task has been completed. Alright, for the sake of this, let's try it. Okay. Pot. Okay, so basically you need to like complete... What? 45? Complete special training? What? Search what? Search 60, 60 airdrops. What the heck? That's for 20 advanced tickets. I'm gonna do it, guys. Um, I don't know when this is gonna be ending, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Wow. Kill 200 players? Wow. Finish in the top 5 60 times. Reach tier Grandmaster. I'm already Grandmaster. First finish in the top okay let's try this wait i don't have ah oh, crap okay i'm gonna try this whenever i top up not for now though because we're gonna have two all right i guess that's all of it guys um there's nothing really new here except for my bumper pack which is another thompson and i don't like it because i already have a thompson skin um so that's all of it okay so here we go ladies and gentlemen uh. Oops, I messed up my filter again. Ah, uh, that's really, really loud. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and... Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and draw advanced tickets. Let's go! Okay, alright. We got the helmet. Baby. Oh my god. That is so uh noisy. Let's go ahead and draw another one and it keeps repeating it. What the heck? We have the level 3 bag, level 2 bag, and... Uh, oh my god, another level 3 bag. Let's do it again, guys. I don't care. We have the upper... Upper, what do you call that? Upper body. Now we only need the lower. Oh my goodness. It keeps giving you the level 3 bag. What the heck? Ah, times 4 level 1. I have a butler. Oh. Ah, salamat. Alright, ladies and gents. We now have the complete... Oh my goodness, this is so noisy. Okay, there's Freaky Teddy. So there's Inquisitor... Oh, Inquisitor? Inquisitor set as well. I wonder why it did not give me the Inquisitor set. I like this, by the way. The Inquistress. Ha. Huh. Alright. Um. So let's... Money? Okay. So, yeah. Training manual. Let's roll that. Why not? Bloom in blue. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Wait, the Bloom in blue hair is actually unique, right? Oh, whoa, nice. Wait, did they update this? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Anyhow, let's go ahead and... Inquip, inquip, 
Equip this, ladies and gents. Equip this. What the heck? This is actually sick, guys. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Amazing. Ah. Uh, it looks so weird that something's coming out of his mouth. Or its mouth, rather. Oh my goodness, guys. This skin is actually sick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Let's look at the emote. There's wait, there's no emote? Wait, I think I have to uh, equip the bag if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. Oh my goodness, guys. The the bag actually wait, parasitoid level. Alright, the bag actually would give you a uh, purple shard, so which is good. I like that. Alright, let's go. So you need to equip these, I guess. And probably this is level three, right? I'll have to display that. Oh my god, yes. Look at this. That looks so sick. Gihilanat, Charla. Oh my goodness. So I guess I. What the? Wait, you don't get an emote for this? Whoa, really? Huh. I can't believe they did not actually. Wow. No emotes for this. Okay. Alright. But when you go to shop, it's very noisy. What the heck? They haven't added any emotes. Oh my god, that's weird. Alright. Yeah, anyways, guys. That's actually it for today in this video. Um, I do... I do hope... I do hope you enjoyed me getting the Parasite costume and it's jumping again and again. Woo! Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. By the way, I go live in Facebook as uh, every day. I go live there at 7 p.m. Araw araw ako nag live sa Facebook, guys, every 7 p.m. Go check it out. It's uh, facebook.gg slash Jason Gaming. Just find me in Facebook. Uh, just search Jason Gaming page in Facebook. And later, I'm gonna be live as well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I will show there the gameplay of the healer and all the new stuff that's in game. So, yep. Yeah. I hope you're having a good day, guys, ahead of you. You can see my hands right here. I have a hand come every day. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And again, I hope you did enjoy me getting the Parasite skin. It's a pretty looking skin. And I'm gonna use that later on in my uh, live stream in Facebook, guys. And you take care. Have a good day. And goodbye.